In a major step toward creating artificial life, U.S. researchers have developed a living organism that incorporates both natural and artificial DNA and is capable of creating entirely new synthetic proteins. The work, published in the journal Nature, brings scientists closer to the development of designer proteins made to order in a laboratory. However, the team say their work is safe and say the semi-synthetic organisms cannot live outside of a laboratory. The DNA alphabet is one of the first lessons in high school biology. It teaches that all life is made up of four DNA building blocks known by the letters A, T, C, and G. Now there's a new rung on that ladder. Until now, all organisms use have used only the four DNA bases to code for 20 amino acids. With the addition of X and Y, an organism could code for up to 152 new amino acids. The researchers hope these amino acids could become building blocks for new medicines. Previous work by Floyd Romsberg, a chemical biologist at the Scripps Research Institute in La Jolla, California, showed that it was possible to expand the genetic alphabet of natural DNA beyond its current four letters, A, D, E, N, I, N, E, A, C, Y, T, O, S, I, N, E, C, Guanine, G, M, T, H, Y, M, I, N, E, T. In 2014, Romsberg and colleagues created a strain of E. coli bacteria that contained two unnatural letters, X and Y. In the latest work, Romsberg's team has shown that this partially synthetic form of E. Coli can take instructions from this hybrid genetic alphabet to make new proteins. I would not call this a new life form, but it's the closest thing anyone has ever made, said Romsberg. This is the first time ever a cell has translated a protein using something other than G, C, or T, Romsberg said. It's the first change to life ever made. It's a goal Romsberg has been working toward for the past 20 years. Creating new forms of life, however, is not the main point. Romsberg is interested in using this expanded genetic alphabet to create new types of proteins that can be used to treat disease. The E. coli bacteria that contains two unnatural letters, X and Y until now all organisms use have used only the four DNA bases to code for 20 amino acids. With the addition of X and Y, an organism could code for up to 152 new amino acids. The researchers hope these amino acids could become building blocks for new medicines. In 2014, he formed a company called Synthrix, which is working on developing new protein-based treatments. A lot of proteins that you want to use as drugs get cleared in the kidney very quickly, Romsberg said.
The new system would allow scientists to attach fat molecules to drugs to keep them in the body longer. Romsberg is aware that the creation of semi-synthetic organisms might raise concerns of hybrid life forms spreading beyond the lab, but the system they use makes such an escape unlikely. For example, in natural DNA, base pairs are attracted to each other through the bonding of hydrogen atoms. Romsberg's X and Y bases are attracted through an entirely different process, which prevents them from accidentally bonding with natural bases. And because cells cannot make their own X and Y without the addition of certain chemicals, the semi-synthetic organisms cannot live outside of a laboratory. They can't escape, Romsberg said. There's no Jurassic Park scenario 